No fancy intro today, we're already kind of late. Malaysian timing. Anyways, this is the first of our Ryzen 7000 series reviews and we're starting with the Ryzen 5 7600X which is probably the one that most of you gamers are interested in but with the new AM5 socket, more expensive motherboards as well as DDR5 RAM, is the Ryzen 5 7600X actually good value for your money? Let's get processing. Burning. By the way, huge shout out to Azio Online for helping me with this review. I was a little preoccupied with some personal matters and couldn't get the testing done in time. Their team is very knowledgeable about PCs and very friendly too, especially Han. If you guys are interested in custom PCs or workstations, feel free to check out the links in the description below or, I don't know, go to Kelana Jaya and kacau them ah. Support local. We're going to do reviews on the other Ryzen 7000 series CPUs as well in the near future. So if you're interested in that, do give us a sub and stay tuned. Without further ado, let's take a look at the specs. Now the Ryzen 5 7600X, just like the 5600X, has 6 cores and 12 threads. It has a 4.7 GHz uh, base clock that boosts up to 5.3 GHz depending on the load. In terms of cache, we are looking at 32MB of L3 cache and 6MB of L2 cache. Being a Zen 4 processor, this CPU is designed for the new AM5 socket. It comes with a single 5 nanometer core complex die or CCD, along with a 6 nanometer IO die. We also get DDR. 5 support, 28 PCIe 5 lanes, and a 105 watt TDP. Wow, 555, five, five. very fire. It's gonna be fire. That jokes aside, in comparison to last gen's 5600X, we get much faster clock speeds, double the L2 cache, and for the first time ever in an X series Ryzen processor integrated graphics. AMD has decided to launch this CPU at the same price as last gen's Ryzen 5 at $299 US dollars, which is great. Although this time, no stock cooler, not even for the Ryzen 5, which is a bummer for some more budget-oriented people. But looking at clock speeds and the new 5 nanometer process, I think we can expect quite a decent jump in performance. So these are the specs to our AM5 test bench. We're using the Gigabyte X670 e Aorus Master Motherboard along with an RX 6900 XT GPU. We also have that Aorus RGB DR5 RAM rated at 6000 MHz as well as a beefy 360mm AIO cooler which I think might not be such an overkill as you will see in a bit. Now let's take a look at the numbers and starting with gaming benchmarks, looking at Time Spy and Time Spy Extreme scores, we are seeing up to a 36% improvement in CPU scores from the Ryzen 5 5600X to the 7600X. Interesting enough, the performance leap is even higher with the 4K Time Spy Extreme. Forza Horizon reflected this uplift and we saw 31% more frames per second. Other games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider as well as Red Dead Redemption 2 and Resident Evil 8 were less impressive. But we still got about 13-18% to 18 improvement in frames per second. Cyberpunk was another game that didn't see too much of an uplift, only 9%. Now I don't really recommend upgrading to 7000 series if all you play are competitive titles, but hey, you're still going to see about a 20 plus percent improvement depending on your game. Basically, you'll benefit more with the 7600X if your games depend on CPU clock speed. I'm not talking about just single core, but all cores since the 7000 series CPUs are designed to hit uh, the thermal limit before they hit the power limit. Now what I was more curious about being a content creator is of course the productivity benchmarks. In Cinebench R20, we're seeing a 48% lead on the 7600X in multi-core and 30% in single core. That's pretty much the same case with R23. V-Ray CPU saw the 7600X taking an even crazier for a 9% lead which went to a whopping 69% nice with Blender. Anyway, it's really a no-brainer to go for the 7600X if 3D work is what you do mainly. Next, we have Puget Bench and both Photoshop as well as Premiere Pro performed 30 plus percent better on the new Ryzen 5. We even got a 24% uplift in After Effects uh, but not so much for Resolve which seems to be more GPU reliant. Still, we got about a 15% improvement. Overall, content creators who use the Adobe Suite can seriously consider the new Ryzen 5 7600X but Resolve users don't need to upgrade 
just yet. Finally, we have power consumption and thermals. And like AMD said, we are going to hit a thermal wall before a power wall. The Ryzen 5 7600X hit 93 degrees, uh, even with our 360mm AIO cooler. And AMD says that it's completely normal. It also drew quite a lot more power than the older 5600X. These are just temps that you would get if all your cores are running at say 5.2 or 5.3 GHz which the CPU is capable of uh, maintaining for seriously quite a long time for heavier loads. For gaming, you should see much cooler temps depending on your games and how they use your CPU. The Ryzen 5 7600X sure is an impressive CPU, especially for hybrid users who both game and do productivity tasks, all at a pretty competitive price. I said competitive, not value-oriented, because there's actually a huge difference there. Right now, we're kind of stuck with X670 motherboards, so things will get a little bit more affordable once the B650 motherboards hit the shelves. But on a brighter note, it seems like DDR5 RAM is getting more and more affordable these days, so at least there's that. If you want the best performance you can get right now and don't mind spending a little bit more for uh, the new M5 socket motherboards as well as DDR5 RAM, then go ahead. If not, maybe grab a 5600X or maybe i5 on a discount, but you'll definitely lose out on future upgrades from AMD with the AM5 socket, uh, which I personally think is definitely worth the price difference. But hey, that's just me. And that is everything from me about the Ryzen 5 7600X. If you have any questions regarding the new Ryzen 7000 series CPUs or if you have any tests that you want us to run in future reviews, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, again, huge shout out to Azio Online for helping us out with this review. If you guys want to buy PCs or workstations, go and find them in Kalana Jaya because they are very reasonable, priced and also very friendly. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more content like this. Uh, especially about the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, uh, 13 Gen Intel or RTX 40 series which is coming up very soon. Again, my name is Bang Sawan Shane from Mob House and I will see you in the next one.